Hello, welcome to another fantastic episode of Dragon Quest XI. It's me, Liam, your host. Jeez, last time we got Rab back. Rab, Rab lost a lot of weight, and he put it back on pretty quick. And we didn't ask too many questions about how that happened. It's one of those silly video game plot things. Of course, they're not going to use a new thin rab model for the rest of the game. It'll be silly. So we're, we got we got big old pudge rab back. Quadrislash is something we learned. Rab learned solar flare, I think it was called. Together they make a really good one. Called, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. We didn't get to use it. But alas, off into uh, off into the world. Maybe when uh, Rabbert, Lord Rabbert, and uh, Squido are all pepped up. Well, you will, we'll trigger it. We'll use it. We'll see. We'll see what the the combined powers of Alfred, Alfred, Erd, Erdrick. Alfred and uh, Mordicant, the vi the wizard, give us. Head to Arborea. Right. So we already went to the summit. That's where Rab was. He was meditating. He got skinny, but he he, he put a he put a few pounds back on. In an off camera sequence. I guess there's like goblin dudes up there. Alright, Rab. Rab's got his old equipment back. We're slowly putting the party back together. I can't wait until we have enough people to get rid of, uh,. Sir Heimlich. Alright. I don't know if I did this before, but I'm gonna do it now. Mm, I think I did it before. An enchanted stone! I wonder what kind of enchantment it has. Snowman. How does it feel being enchanted? What's it like? How long did it take to get enchanted? Does it last forever? Do you need to redo the enchantment periodically? Like, do you need to reapply? Is it like, uh, like sunscreen? You know where you gotta uh, gotta put it on every now and then in order to not uh, get a bad sunburn. Just got that guy with the sword. I don't know if he likes it that much. Why couldn't I hear that? Let's have the, the goblin whacked. That's too bad. It'll all be. The fellow used shield. Usually in these types of games, the shield is just like a stat boost. Nobody actually like blocks anything. You just do less statistical damage. No, my power of pep. And a miss from Rabbert. Rab is the highest level person in the party. I guess the game expected me to be above level 35 by this point. That's the only inference I can draw.
What's it gonna take? How maliciously? Should I be worried? I don't know, uh... I don't know how good, uh... It is for your sword to just hit it on a rock. A lava lump. Well, no doubt that'll come in use in my future. The mithril ore. That sounds more plausibly useful. You figure the... Oh, fresh water. That's nice. You'd think the... Uh, heat of the lava lump would uh, die off over time, but uh, what do I? What am I? Some sort of Dragon Quest engineer. Rock farm shard. I believe that there's lots of those around. I'm sure there's lots of rock bomb dudes dying. Weave our way through here. Not interested in fighting every uh, every who's it or every what's it, every dingus, every in, everybody in the cave. Oh, bonjour. Comment ça va? Can we sidle our way across? Yes, yeah, sidle, 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 sidle. That's the sound that sidling makes. How you doing there, uh, chest hand? Mr. Amite? A diamond. <laughs> is that a Scottish diamond? Is that a, is that a diamond where when you hold it? You hear bagpipes? <laughs> kind of doing a bit of everything at once? Wow. It's a lot. What's included in everything? Are you brushing your teeth? Are you combing your hair? Are you... euthanizing your neighbor's pets? Are you... Finishing your thesis. Are you starting a compost program in your local community center? Are you learning to do a heel flip on the skateboard? I think one way to like ensure that nobody thinks you know how to skateboard is to call it a skateboard. Ah yes, the skateboard. I was inspired to learn the skateboard by Anthony Hawk's professional skateboarder. Volume 2. <laughs> February edition. <laughs> my my word, Justin. Have you read this fall's publication of Anthony Hawk's professional skateboarder? What would the uh, what would the cover story be? <laughs> What would the cover story be? Tantalizing... Ta tantalizing aerial acrobatics. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you get away with calling a game Anthony Hawk. Maybe. I mean, his brand is all in the, in the tone, eh? Arborea. I don't even know where Arborea is. Where's my boat? Hello, Brad. How's it going? I don't know where Ibori is, but we're gonna go try to go visit um, the metal place. We're gonna go talk to our French friends. I think if, um, I think it would be um, tantalizing aerial acrobatics that thrill the senses. Amateur board riders.
What's another term for professional? Qualified? <laughs> Anthony Hawks, qualified board enthusiasts. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I think that could work. I don't know. Maybe we should go in business. Maybe this is an op opportunity. Journeyman plank sliders. I guess like a journey. I think of like a master though, right? Because a journeyman is like what you are before you're like good at it. Anthony Hawks, masters of of board acrobatics. Masters of the acrobatic board. Ho ho no. This board, this mere board is not just for locomotion. Check out the fall issue of Anthony Hawk's Master Board Acrobats where the cover story tantalizing aerial acrobatics to, to thrill the senses will reveal a, a plethora of exciting feats. Slime riders? Yeah. It's a slime knight. They know what's up. They know how to do it. Uh, I don't know. What are you going to do, Hendrick? Oh, what an idiot. That's why That's why I was keeping Hendrick in a pine box. Because he sucks. How you doing there, Bradley? Have you finished your, your video? Were you productive? Or was it all sham? Darn. Rab keeps on trying to get people whacked, but I won't do it. Did you guys see that news report about uh, the, the contract killing in China that got subcontracted out four times? And then the, the last guy who got uh, the thing subcontracted to reported to the police because the money that somebody tried to hire him to kill a guy for was so little. This is a real thing I'm not making up. Come on, it's gonna work one of these times. Yes. I've been collecting animal names for my Captain Senior Duck RPG project that I may never do. I'm adding to the list, like a slime rider. Slime rider! Can I voice the slime rider? A hawk named Anthony could no longer fly as he took up surfing. That's high. It's good. I like that. It's high concept. People, people will giggle. Can I voice the hawk? This is what I want to know. Is one, will there be voice acting? And two, when is my recording date? When are we doing this? I've been preparing for my role as Anthony the Hawk. Although, uh, that news might surprise you, I know. But I promise I've been preparing for the role of Anthony the Hawk. I'm thinking of it as like a character piece, you know what I mean? Like I've... I've really gone method with the whole thing. Some of the dynamic and audio in this game is messed. Just gonna put that there. Witness the power of a true disciple! Yay, X. Baba doo 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 doo. Look, Ma. Look what I learned. I don't know. We have carried the day. I guess that's fair. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? 
Can I try voicing? Can we do a, uh, an Anthony Hawk voice recording session? Even if it ends up going unused? Oh no, I got attacked by a big dingus. A group of dinguses appear. But we can dream, we can dream. We can just do the recording session and uh, just use it as inspiration. Why would you ever use any other attack? Sure. Even though it's an NES game and there's no... You can't voice act in an Not NES game. Not at all. Not at all. I guess I don't know it's an NES game. I guess I kind of assumed it was, but... No, I want to get back on my dude. Look at me go. Look, Ma. Are these gonna turn into a vicious slime king if I let them? Yes, this is about to happen. We're about to see a vicious slime king. We'll buff the team in preparation. It's kind of 16-bit. Is it going to be an SNES game? Maybe a, maybe a Sega Saturn game? I don't know. Put it on yourself, Rap. Senior deck. They're fusing together. An enormous, vicious king slime. What a world. This is the end for you. Oh well, I'm just gonna use all my big attacks. Garage slash, go! It might be Genesis-esque. I don't know if I really want to try to make something run on the system. Yeah, I can feel that. I think the people who made Genesis games didn't even really seem to want to make their games run on the system, so. Yeah, keeping it, keeping it like retro in tone, but not worrying about all the overhead of learning how to develop for it. Very, very, very out of date and unsupported hardware. Call up Sega and be like, yo, I got a question. Can I get a dev kit for uh, <laughs> the Sega Saturn? La 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 Okay, so we need to go up and around. See you, buddies. You were, it was nice. It was really grand, the, the moment we had. Just some good stuff. I should put some more time working in. Put, I should put some more time on my uh, the JRPG I've been intentionally never finishing for years. I feel like the time is right to draw a few more sprites and script an encounter and then uh, forget about it for another four months. <laughs> I think it's about right. I think that the time has come. Bum, bum, barim, 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 boom. Who knows? A little different in an unspecified number of years. When you maybe get around to doing the game. Maybe. Yeah, I can just do this whenever I want. It's 
so... Why, why should I ever use any other attack ever again? That's what I want to know. <laughs> You can now ride the Slime Knight. Two game projects they care about. That should, that should take you into the next decade. 2030. Senior Duck release date. Yeah, I feel that one. Rock Rock, applying for more grants now, which is good. A good grant meeting recently, getting all our, as I say, senior ducks in a row. If you may, do make senior duck, the RPG, there needs to be a scene, there needs to be a puzzle or whatever, where the solution is to put all your uh, all your ducks in a row. Promise me, Brad. Promise me, okay? I need, uh, do it for me. I need this. Hello, Shauna Studio Cat Donuts. My mon frere, my friend. I mean, you can be my brother. It's it's sort of like a non, gender non-specific brother. Like, whatever. It's not about that. It's 2019. Men can be women. It's fine. I just kind of want to say mon frere. Is that, is that going to be all right with everybody? Uh, I got through more of my playthrough, by the way. You don't hate Sylvando as much? Ah, uh, Sylvando's growing on me for sure. Sylvando is definitely uh, working, working my way. The way you said hello, suddenly <laughs> the, doing the, the, the intro. Super Mario Odyssey, 100% with your host Liam. Welcome to Super Mario Odyssey, 100%. It's me, your host Liam. You can call me uh, Liam G25, but please don't, because it's not my name. It's just a weird internet thing. Liam Gallagher was already taken, so you know my name. Ever see the movie um, Office Space for this guy named Michael Bolton? And they're like, yo, Michael Bolton, why do you go by Mike if your name is uh, Michael Bolton? You should just change your name. Uh, why should I change his name? My name. He's the one who sucks. I'm both anyways, or whatever. I prefer being referred to as male, but whatever. All right, that's fine. Whatever. It's not, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna fight with anybody about it. My take on uh, on all that stuff, on all the, uh, they're peeing, um, stuff that people get all worked up about, is, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> We have bigger problems in the world. Uh, it's not important. Uh, off space, great movie. L'Academie de Notre Madre de Malialie. Bienvenue. Ah, she said you've brought me new mini medals. Magnifique. Allow me to stamp your album. Say it right. Magnifique. Ah, item earned. Felicitations, young man. Your reward for collecting 45 stamps is an agility gilet. A maximally magnificent prize indeed. Yep, not important. Doesn't matter. It's like when the whole like gay marriage debate came up in Canada, however many years ago it was. It was like, I don't know, I'm not getting married. No one's a, no one wants to gay marry me, so I don't think I should have a say. If somebody if somebody wants if somebody wants to gay marry me, then I will develop an opinion on gay marriage. Until that point, I don't know. It's like it's like getting getting dressed up without having a party to go to. Felicitations, young man! You have completed completely filled the page of your album, The Medallier. This is not a miniature achievement in the slightest. Mission complete. You have maxed out this page, but your career as a metal detector extraordinaire is not yet at an end. No. It is time to turn over a new life. 
Ah, the next prize, the Glombolero. Oh man, I earned another item. Oh sweet, the maximum munition prize indeed. This is what you said last time. Keep the mini medals coming, and when your total reaches 55, I will reward you with a suit of spiked armor. Now, isn't that maximally magnificent brass? Perfect de Medaille, awarded for completing the second page of your album de Medaille. Ah, c'est bon. You rock. No, you rock. You rock. If anyone was like, I want to make sure that you are peeing in the right room, I'd be like, you're a weirdo. Get away from me, please. <laughs> Never talk to me and my son ever again. Octorock. You Octorock. You Octo the hell out of that rock. My sweet, sweet dude. Brad, how did you know? Brad, how did you know the Octorock message was coming up next? Are you uh, an Autobahn pal? What's the glowing blue thing? That's a Tockle. It's my good buddy. I don't know what this guy's name is. But it's a Tockle. Some of them you can talk to. Other than just fade away into a different dimension. Usually they're there to like help point out little things. Like, oh look, there's like an item here. No, it didn't. Although now that I'm learning a little bit more how the computer do, maybe I could script that stuff. It was just fate. The other thing is, is, is if there's anywhere in the world where someone is likely to bring up that band, it's, it's here. Octorock, I should make a thing for Octorock. Because I love it. This little river is absolutely teeming with nothing. Ever since Tigris has it's been too dangerous to go outside, so I'm stuck in here. It's all fun and all. One big problem. Something's really starting to stink. I hope whoever made the world she fell out. This guy has poisoned the river too. I think uh, this young lady is starting to stink. Oh, hello. Tut, tut, tut. Who's disturbing my precious few seconds of sleep? Oh, wait. You're looking at her. Are you not? I was, um, just taking a nap. I'm spending tons of time searching for a password. Speaking of which, allow me to share the one I found with you. Be right back. The worst Final Fantasy and exercise. Have good time on your stationary bike. Mr. Brad, sir. There are more tacos out there. I think we're gonna do all the taco stuff later. We're gonna let the tacos build up. <laughs> Ugh, it's me, Maldorine. Do the morgue. I smell absolutely rotten, you do. I've run out of perfume. Yeah, why not? Malodorine. I get it. Oh no, nothing's come. To the cryptic crypt, just to the west of Hoto. Yeah, we can go there. To the cryptic crypt. I wish it was a bike. It's a weird stepper elliptical hybrid thing that my mom bought. Come on, mom. You can get a like a mount to put your the wheels of your actual bike on. with little thingies that re provide resistance on the hub. But I mean, that's a whole a whole thing in and of itself. Oh, did I, is, what's her face, kissy lips over here have another quest for me or, I just assumed that she was from before, but whatever. I am Madame Labouche. I've been watching you since the first set foot on Academy Grounds and I've ill my tongue until now. But I cannot hold it no more. How dare you traipse around these honorable Ical come un vagabond. These girls will one day be the shining stars of Adrian. Hot society. She be mixing with the riffraff. And you, my... <laughs> You're the riffiest, raffiest ruffin I've ever had the displeasure to 
to witness wandering around these grounds. But there is hope for you yet. But if you wish to prove that you are indeed a gentle home, worthy of this academy, you must dress to impress me. That is. Come back when you are looking a little more chic or show. Smart and stylish. Do we have an accord? An agreement? Why, c'est vrai. If I move out and get my own place again, I might buy one of those. I'd consider it. They're good. They're good. Right, you play more JRPGs in this time of year because it's harder to get out on your bike. I get that. Bon chance. Film. Good luck. Come back when you've had a true prince shaman of yourself. I'm into it. Neither be to be bow. Ba ba dum ba zo boo boo ba do do ba do do. Soup up and beat and beat ba boop boop and beat out ba ba doop boop ba. Soup a doop and doop a dee. Sap a bee ba bee da. Do 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 um, turn in my medals, which is something. Incredible coat that can absorb MP from any spell cast on the wearer. That's interesting. It's easy to move around and. Oh, I'll give it a wrap. I think I play more games in the winter as well. It's harder to be outside. Thanks, Ring Fit, though, for giving me an opportunity. To get a little more exercise while being indoors. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a good winter. Arborea, I forget where Arborea even is. I suppose I don't have a, like a, a map. I don't have a boat anymore, right? I don't know, let's just explore then. We're just gonna unlock places that we can uh, zoom to later. It's not a bad use of time. Uh oh, what's this on the road? Gather around and we'll hear their tale. That man is in danger. Hendrik. We must go to his aid. Go throw your body in front of the blows. Is that Sylvando I hear? Oh boy. Wow. Carry those claws home in a bag. <laughs> Is Sylvando gay? It's been super ambiguous. Yeah. It's like how like dudes from Spain have mullets and it's not lame. It's just like you get if you're from Spain you can have a mullet and it's not weird. doesn't even begin to describe it. You were ferocious. Look at the, look at the dance step pattern he's doing on the left. I don't know, like, I don't know. It could be a Latin American heartthrob. Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? It's, sexuality is cultural, right? People don't court each truly, other the same way. Truly, truly? It's, 
There's folks in part of the world who... I think it really is. I don't know. It's to them, like... It's so wonderful to see you. Having beautifully plucked eyebrows is not a challenge to their masculinity or whatever. Um, you two are acquainted? Right, where he just suddenly shows up. What is it that you do, exactly? <laughs> without the cutscenes and the, without the little chapter. Isn't it obvious? We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost. That's funny. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that he's not gay, but also, like, it's, it's not really, like, part of it. That's I don't right, know. Darlings. We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab <laughs> This big world. gay troop. It's pretty, I don't know, yeah, it's pretty gay. My I'm not going to deny it. Quite the cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness. Aren't they just so much fun? He can be gay. I'm not saying he's not gay, but I'm also saying that like, it's but never mind that now. It's not necessarily of substance to the life. matter, right? It's a miracle. I thought I'd never see you again. Is now a beady boy? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, excuse me. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I forgot all about you. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No. No, I am not. Thanks to you. You are more strong than you appear. <laughs> My name is Da. I come from Phnom Non in the south. And if it were not for your help, I would not be there. fruit? Thank you. He's definitely, he's definitely a sweetheart, that's for sure. Then we better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we? Hmm? Pride break time? Is that what this is? So what do you say you join the parade for a little while, huh? Literally a parade. You know you want to. Sure. Let's do it. I'm so excited. You should cosplay as the great Sylvando. First steps as a soldier of the smile spreading special forces. It's special forces now? Lando. <laughs> See, to me, it just looks like it's like a caravana or like a carnival outfit, right? So proud. All right, boys, let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. He's an old friend of mine, after all. So, like, I used to play in a sam sa samba. I used to play in a samba band, right? I just played tambourine. The one they led, uh... It's definitely not straight. I'm not... I used to play in a samba band, right? Back in Nova Scotia. So, the Samba Nova. And there was a lot of... There was a lot of Portuguese guys there from... From Brazil, who were like Brazilian expats. This is incredible. Um, I, you can clearly hear the sword do in the background. Doom, gong, doom, gong. Um, even though you don't see it pictured, and you know, like in in Brazil, there's just like a different sense of like physical comfort with your male friends that is not seen there as being a challenge to people's heterosexuality whatsoever. Uh, so I'm not trying to say Sylvando's anything. I'm not trying to trying to like say I know what his private life is like. All I'm just saying is that like I don't know. I've seen straight dudes jump around in tights and and you know feathers and stuff because it was carnival, and that's just like what you do. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. He's probably gay. <laughs> He's like, here's an ally, help me share the love. If you legit cried, that's great. The hustle dance is good. He's converted the hero. That doesn't exist. Anyways, we're not gonna, we're not gonna deal with this anymore. I think my point has been made clear. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's fun. Okay, let's go.
Look at these dance moves. Take a picture? That's a fair point. How do I even do that? Photo mode. We need to remember this forever. That's a good one. It'll last longer. Boom 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 I guess Hocus Pocus is just like whatever, right? There's not a lot of controls, eh? Oh, you can rotate them. It's interesting. That's a horrible photo. I don't know, like, uh, I can't seem to get the camera to behave properly. Like, there's tilt pan. I don't seem to be able to zoom in and out. Oh, is that also tet? No. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to zoom. Oh, well, we've got some photos. Yeah, I don't know, like, a modeler definitely, uh... <laughs> Look at Hendrick. <laughs> do, 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 do. Look at the rap. This is incredible. Why? <laughs> Why is his hand glued to his hip? <laughs> oh, Sylvando. The clown outfits are so good. And we thought just Jade was fan service. No, Sylvando is definitely eye candy too, right? They're new. Oh, that's cool. How long does this go on for? <laughs> Can we forage? Can we take our parade foraging? This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. The uh, Pride Toronto banned the Toronto Public Library from participating in next year's Pride uh, Pride Parade. This is this week. Oh, politics. Your party doesn't walk around with you the PlayStation version? Okay. So there would be no one to put this costume on. This parade only goes at one... at one speed. There's also, like, nobody here. <laughs> Who am I waving to? Hendrick looks amazing in that clown outfit. Where are we going? <laughs> what on earth? 
very silly. Bum bum. Get together a group to cosplay this. Someone gets to be the hero with these amazing leggings. Somebody gets to be uh, Sir Hendrik, who looks in extremely unimpressed. Yeah, exactly. Sir Hendrik is definitely a reluctant participant. He doesn't know what's happening. Also, hello, NB. And hello, Sacred Razor. How's it going? How are you two doing this evening? Oh, do we do it right? Do we just walk in now? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm doing good. Doing good? Good. You're both doing good. I'm doing well. I'll admit to being a little bit tired from having done the, uh, the lots of exercise, lots of days in a row thing. And but I have good spirits. At our destination. Happy the to be playing games with you fine folks. Nom -nom. Uh, hmm. I think tourism da is down since the world collapse, maybe. The whole world is just so dreary these days. If you want to be a tourist ta trap, you need okay. tourist trap. The shoulder? Thank you yeah, it just needs rest. Me. I I must go now. Like I didn't hurt it at all. It's just as I was doing the exercises, I could tell like I wonder what can have made him venture so far from home. Yeah, I, I could tell that it was just getting worn out. Have something to do with why the town is so quiet. Just needed to uh, let off it and give it some time, right? Silv's detective agency. Leave this to me. Silv's detective agency? What can't he do? Agents of happiness, soldiers of smile, go spread some special parade cheer and find out what's going on around here. Let's go to work. Amazing. Yeah, so it wasn't like Why can I not beer break shower. Cool. Silvando and I have met somewhere before. I think you have met a hundred times because you kept on following us around the entire world. You moron. <laughs> She's still doing it. Uh, yeah, it was more just like my, like I, you know, you you gotta you gotta listen to your body while you're exercising, right? Because it'll tell you about. It how it's doing and there's like the strain of uh of, of a muscle that you're challenging and then there's the strain of a muscle that like you're starting to wear out wear out and that's what it felt like it's like all right shoulder is not gonna get stronger if i keep exercising it it's just gonna start to get hurt so i laid off and yeah i'll give it a few days rest and it should be fine thank you for asking though it's very considerate of you once we're famous for our mural and our tourists, but now it's in the past. I think so. Are they your friends? They're wearing very strange clothes. <laughs> they do not appear to be ordinary travelers. <laughs> you got that right. The people of this village are very scared. Muy, muy gustada. See, something dark and complex has happened here. You gained weight for once. You've been mostly like a stick creature since I've met you. Hmm. Sylvie, I think he has escorted Senor Da back to his home somewhere in the village. Well, that's good. What is this? Those little strange men. They look like performers of some kind. There's something devilish about them. Could they be looking, working for the Lord of Shadows? Nah. I went to see uh, Cirque du Soleil here in uh, Halifax. Uh, I almost said Halifax, here in Toronto last night. Some good stuff. Some very vibrant costumes. Nice. 
can take a brief minute from being fantastic to uh, smash some barrels. That's our hero. That's our hero. Priorities, right? How much weight did you gain there, uh, there, sports fan? Have you been hitting the gym hard, or...? Or what's up with that? The monster took them. My wife and my son. It's unforgivable. Yeah, I think a parade wouldn't cheer me up if I'd lost my whole family. We certainly cannot have that. Why aren't you a darling? Look at this guy. And then the morning came. Yeah, you got some muscle mass? You gained 10 pounds? Hey, look at you. Good work, my man. I know that some people have a really hard time putting the putting the pounds on. I get that. I kind of have it both ways. My body seems really eager to both put muscle and fat on. So, a little bit of both, a little bit of both. You look like a guy who knows what he wants. So how's about it? Puff possession just for you? Let's do it. Puff puff on your face, all over the place. Puff 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 puff. And there you go. <laughs> he looks happy. Nice. How did you put the uh, How did you put the weight on? Only a trip to the doctors. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's good to get your checkup, right? You gotta You gotta make sure you're uh, you're healthy. A clean bill of health from the old MD. What have you What have you been doing? You've been uh, hitting the gym. You've been eating a breakfast of a dozen boiled eggs. Have you uh, You got a job as an ox cart driver and let the ox go. How'd you do it? What's your secret? Just exercising. What an idea. It works. Twenty nineteen. Working out, yeah. Sweet, nice. Exercise is fun. Lifting stuff. There's three types of exercise, right? Do you want to know what the three types of exercises are? I can tell you. Hmm. Crying out of bed? The monster has taken my granddaughter. She was my whole life. Watching her grow was my room for living. There's three types of exercise. The three types of exercise are... Picking up something heavy and putting it down again. Number two is doing something easy over and over again. Or three, picking someplace far away and then going there. Those are, those are the three types, three types of exercise. But he'll just hang him. He reaches his goals using one simple trip. Uh, fitness. You got a quest? What's up, my dude? I don't suppose you know anything about food, do you? I'm a chef, you see. Right now I'm traveling around trying to learn about the various cuisines of the world. I came to Phnom Nom Nom to pick up a rainbow rock salt. I hear it's their most popular and delicious souvenir. But when I got here, the locals told me the monster's taken all over the place and they get it from. I was too scared to go down there. Hey, you look like you can handle yourself. I don't suppose you could go and get me some, could you? I only need a little pinch of the stuff. Yeah, let's do it. For Mithril Ore. Are you gonna be are you gonna be a new fitness guru? Justin? I used to look like this, and it's like a picture of like one of those stick bugs. My goal is average BMI. Aw oh, yeah. Not being underweight. Hey there, Evia. How's it going? Hola. Look at look at my look at my dude. He's happy to see you too. How's it going, Evia? I B I, I B I. Pretty good, nice. 
Nice. We're playing some fantastic Dragon Quest. We just had a Pride Parade. And that was pretty good. Um, but the people here are not really feeling our message of hope. A lot of the... Uh, a lot of the people here have had their uh, children or family members abducted by a monster that presumably we're gonna have to slay at some point because you know it's a RPG and we're the uh, we're the main character. That's how that works. Uh, until then, I guess we're just uh, we're exploring. We're trying to spread as much good cheer as we can. Yeah, Cheston is a super cool dude. Those of you who don't know, Am I Shade? That fine fellow there. He's a fellow musician here in Toronto. He's a very good pianist. And he's also a composer. We went to school together in Toronto. And uh, he, he's also a streamer, as so many of us artists are. You know, turn to stuff like streaming to find a little, a little bit of extra income on the side to make ends fit together. Because, you know, being an artist is tough out there. But according to my current theory, Mordigan is the one who caused the destruction of the ancient civilization that once called this area home. Unfortunately, that Blazes Avrith creature stole my notebooks. What a jerk. Uh, so yeah, check his channel out and all that nonsense. Do the thing, you know? Thing, do it. The runes are dead, as you like. Sad, really. I heard there used to be a mural there that brought the tourists running far and wide. What's that, love? Sil? Hmm. I saw him taking Dab back home. His house is just right in front of the church, I think. Okay, let's go find Dab. Or Da. Sylvan Da. Right in front of the church. I think that was, the other one was the mayor's office, so this is probably Da's house. Cutscene. Da, Everyone okay. gather around. You are not hurt. Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. Your boy is missing. <gasps> oh, honey. Oh, sweetheart. Ugh. Where that selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. Schism in the family. It's a little family drama. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know. That hurts. Now his son has gone missing. It is very hard for him. It would be tough. Do you know of the monster Avarith? She appeared in the village with her foul friends soon after Yggdrasil fell and the darkness came. I was destroyed when my fifth wife died. And could not run away. Then she gathered us all in the square. So I understand how Da feels. Give me your valuables, she said. Tell me what is most precious to you. I will protect it. Yeah, yeah. People were so scared. They obeyed her without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. Shouldn't do that. But the wicked creature lied to us. Oh yeah, you figure? She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. If anybody ever offers you oh, protection in exchange awful. for your children, just don't do that. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty Some advice from me to you. Liars. Don't worry, honey. We're gonna get all your stuff back. All of it. It's a very dramatic game. Really? But Avarith is very strong. Very powerful. Yeah, but... Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to there you stop go. me. I won't let you down. You know what they say. A knight's word is his bond. Better than the telenovelas? Yeah. A knight. I agree. I agree. More drama. More action. Avarith Less romance in the game, though. She, stole. she has a lair there, I think. I think the only one, like, romantic then let's get after her. interest We've in this game evil door to so far was a guy putting it to a mermaid, though. So that's pretty good. You know, if you can only have one romance, it might as well be between be between a fish lady. <laughs> yeah. Putting it, I think putting it to a mermaid is probably the ultimate pop off. <laughs> How was your day, Ibia? I hope you're doing well. 
I hope you are having a good evening. Evia, everybody. Pass the Quinta. What if this was a slow jam? Jade and Booga Wooga. You only slept like three hours. That's not enough. Ultimate romance. I can feel that. I can feel that. Do you guys know the expression unga bunga in fighting games? Do you guys know that? Have you ever heard of that before? Like unga bunga strats? Booga Wooga reminds me of unga bunga. A fine romance without kisses. A fine romance. Unga bunga. Guess we don't need to go to the temple. So I guess this game is. I can't see anything. <laughs> This game is mixing up the locations, right? Because the first time we came through all this place, all this place, all these places, I can conjugate my, the verbs of the only language I know. Um, there, the formula was always like, there's something to do in town. You get to the town and there's a thing, right? Who are you waving at? Who are you waving at? But now the way it's set up is that we're heading to town and the key location associated with the plot point is not on site. The game is expanding its palette of storytelling tools, okay? I wonder if I, like, look how he's bringing up his heels. Right? And he's just got a little bit of bounce at the knee. And that's doing it. That's doing it, baby. You're fighting with Russians. There is money. I won't affect a Russian accent. That's It's it's different with accents I kinda know. Or have been exposed to. I don't. I don't actually know any Russians, really, not in person. So I feel like it's rude for me to try to put a Russian accent on. So I'm not going to do it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I know that life. That life. Uh, <laughs> that life is. Uh, it can get. It can get tiring. Look at the parade, Evia. Look at the parade. You came at the exact right moment. Uh, search for the south of the Champ Suave. Where is the Champ Suave? All right, we gotta go north then. Is my uh, entourage coming with me? Are we, <laughs> are they staying put? Oh no, they're coming around, they're turning around. <laughs> this game is fantastic. How did, how was this allowed to happen? Usually like game development companies don't let this kind of stuff happen. <gasps> Thanks for the subscription. That's amazing. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. Like, you literally didn't have to do that. But thank you. I appreciate it. We've got, uh, we've got perks. We don't actually have perks, but just let me know what you want the perks to be, and I'll, I'll make them up. <laughs> we got this dude. We got this guy. He's an Aubon pal. And then I also added this guy. Yeah, Autobahn Pal. 
Bunt, 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 bunt. I like the Sordu. Let's get some Sordu happening. It's probably not a real Sordu because this is performed by like the Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra or whatever. And they probably don't have a Sordu in their orchestra. Those Russians. What a world. The perks include um, everyone here is really swell. That's one thing that's good. That's a perk of this live stream is there's no stream monsters. I don't know if anybody in the chat wants to wants to back me up there, but I I would say that this live stream community is exceptionally stream monster free. There's a stream monster. It's a different kind of stream monster though. Even though I know it takes longer, I kind of want to just wait for the parade. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like Michael Jackson or something? Like late game Michael Jackson? <laughs> Final form? Final form Michael Jackson? R.I.P. The King of Pop? I'm a bag. It's called Ariwaki. Oh, bienvenido. I'm at the shade. It's the most fabulous sight ever. Yeah, we're going. I think I don't need to wait for them, but I just am. Why is this happening? <laughs> I'm not complaining, but also like, what? <laughs> like, why is this in the game? Who let this happen? And again, I mean that in a good way. Who's he waving to? Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Cheston is also a subscriber. You're both subscribers now. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. This is, this is good stuff. That old thing is everything. It's all I've ever needed in life. It's all I really ever wanted to be. Game devs, why not? We've got the money. Hey, it's my boat! My boat survived! What's my boat doing there? Why aren't we going to get that boat? Look at Sylvando just shake his money maker. Is it gonna leave me there? It's not gonna follow? Okay, well, we'll keep going. I thought we had to. Do we lose Sylvando? We'll just say goodbye for now. I guess, like, uh, there's like a max minimum clearance. Why is he still waving? <laughs> yeah, leave Phnom Nom and search for Other's Lair, which is somewhere in the south of Champs Suave. Okay, well, if we can't take the parade there, we might as well, uh... Teleport. As it were. Shauna Studios. Or Shauna for Cat Donuts. I don't know what to call him now. I don't know what to call him. He's got too many usernames. But he wants to, uh cosplay as <laughs> Sylvando. Now, Evia, you strike me as somebody who is is familiar with cosplaying. Have you have you donned a costume or two in your time? Just so everyone's clear, I whenever I know people's names like IRL, their AFK names, I find it hard not to use them. It's just a weird peculiarity of my character. It's like no like me, Liam, my 
personal character. It's hard for me to not call them by their name when I know it. Only for Halloween? Okay, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to like pigeonhole you or anything. Oh, they're not dressed as clowns in, in battle. Cosplaying is like big these days. I've, I've never done it because it's not my thing. You know what I mean? No shame, but it's just not for me. If you were to dress up as any video game character, who would you dress up as? And why is it a, why is it a slime? <laughs> Wonderful. Look at this. Look at this moment. Look at this moment in gaming history. <laughs> Oh my, oh my lord. That looks fun? Well, there's a reason for that. Let's get this super fierce photo of the hero. Perfect. This game is, uh... As they say, muy divertido. Putting an, an extra Anglo accent on that one for you. Muy divertido. Who are you waving to? Per, per, perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> perfecto. Ole. <laughs> Ole S Toy Liam Pronounce my own name like I can't pronounce it. A slime theme medicine ball? For sure. Exercise ball? Yeah, absolutely. I could see that. Cause even like I've even been on one of those kinds of things. Where it's like supposed to be a bug and the two handles. are like the antennas of the ants or whatever. The only thing that bothers me about this is um, that my character's run speed has been severely limited. Maybe I should have just gotten on a horsey. Horsey time! Oh, come on. No horsies. Run, run! Como te lamas. <laughs> bum 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 the only the only Spanish accent I can do is is the accent from those those tapes those like uh, learn Spanish audiobooks I can do that accent and that's just about it I've been studying French most recently and it's kind of the Dora accent hola yo soy Liam como estas estas bien Eso es una manzana. <laughs> right? Like that. De donde es la biblioteca. Right? <laughs> but my Spanish is like gone now. Como, como, como. Yeah, more, it's a little deeper. Como escribe tu nombre. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? Right, you know, real things, real Spanish people say. <laughs> Talking five words a minute, asking people how to spell their name, like you do in Spanish. 
Alrighty. Leaf nom nom. There's somewhere in the south of Schwamp's Suave. Okay. Necesito el baño. But yeah, my, um, my Spanish is, uh, despacito, despacho. Um, yeah, my Spanish is like gone now. Like it's just been all replaced with French. Whatever. Como puedo ayudarte? Can't talk like a real Spanish person talks, but. Oh, am I already in the Schwanz Suave? F, F me. <laughs> I went the wrong direction. Um, but I can, I can, I can m mimic the guy on the tape pretty good. So, thanks, thanks University. Je m'appelle Ivia. Ah, oh, bonjour Ivia. Je m'appelle Liam. Comment ça va? Pog champ, just, just mad poggers for parlay un petit peu français avec moi. Voulez-vous poulet avec moi? <laughs> Would you like to chicken with me? I don't even know what that means. Don't answer that. My French sounds good. Thank you, thank you. I don't, uh, I don't know a lot. A lot of the French I've been learning. Teach me, I'll teach you Spanish. You don't want me to teach you French. I don't know any French. I can teach you Anglais, but you can already speak Anglais better than I can. Oh uh, yeah, like, I'm good at, I'm good at, a lot of the things that I've learned about French are very context sensitive. According to, uh, the time and the manner in which I've, uh, <laughs> jefe, me English talks jefe. <laughs> ese, you have to end every sentence with ese in order for me to, <laughs> in order for me to believe that your your English your English sucks. Ese. <gasps> Maybe one day, wow. I can be like you. Depends on who asks. Hi there, little one. We're just off to hunt down the horrible, nasty monster who's been kidnapping people from the village. Is your father named Da, by any chance? Da. So you were not abducted. What are you doing in such a dangerous place? Your father is worried about you. I was killing rats with the hammer. My father does not care for me. Whoa. He cares for my mother's necklace more than anything else. Whoa. He told the monster so. Whoa. It's... I thought he would say I was the most precious thing to him. It made me very sad. That was a different plot point, though. So I decided to follow the monster and get the necklace back for him. The then the people are the most important. Was, was a plot point about ten hours ago in the game. I strayed too far from the village. And became scared. So boom, ka -da -ka, boom, ka -da -ka. I stopped here to hide. <laughs> la, 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 la. What your father said was upsetting, I am sure. But this is no place for a child. Come, we will return you to the village. Boom, ka -da -ka, no! Go. If you are going after the monster, I am coming with you. I have to get my mother's necklace back. Be such a spoil sport, Hendry. We'll look after the little I hate boy. Hendrik for the record. Besides, he'll be safer with us than out here on his own. It's true. Very well. But the boy is your responsibility. Very well, go die in a fire, Hendrik. Thank you. Thank you. I will be useful to you, I promise. As bait. The monster went that way. There is a cave on the cape where she Useful is as live bait. Him, everybody, let's go teach that dirty bandit a lesson. Sweet, yeah, I, 
I spied that pinned tweet that time and uh, decided best not to comment. But uh, now that you mention it, some boyfriends make better ex boyfriends. <laughs> Shall we say? Oh, hello. It's a, pr it's a pink professorus. Now this is a surprise. Not many humans wander in here of their own accord. You can use the quote. Avarice, you fiend. Avarice. You are going to give back what <laughs> you not, It's avarice, but he has a lisp, so it's avarice. And you are going to do it now. <laughs> I didn't catch that. His name is Avarice, but with a so lisp. That is why you are here. You humans and your heroic nonsense. Heroic. Still, I suppose you have shown a lot of courage coming here. Very well. Let's say I do give everything back. Okay, okay. It's not going to happen for free. You're going to have to give me something to sweeten the deal. How about your most valued possession? <laughs> that seems like a fair trade, wouldn't you say? Uh, no. Wait. If you wish to make a deal, fiend, you must make it with me. I have something for you. Something soft and warm and fragrant. Something I just know you are going to love. Oh, what is it? What is it? Hand grenade. It sounds amazing. Savage. I see it right now. Savage Hand beating. Hand it over! Hand it over! Mike Tyson. With pleasure. That would be cool. I do hope it brings you joy. Mike Tyson has a lisp. Hand grenade? Let me see! Let me see! Why are your eyes closed? What is that awful smell? Is it a horse poo from Margarita? Yeah. There you go. Margarita is the name of Sylvando's horse. You, you, do you think this is some kind of joke? Oh, don't you like it, honey? I chose it especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you pay for this. Avarice will not be mocked by a silly. Little human! Maybe this will teach you a lesson! <laughs> oh no, my magic. Luckily, I think the big cheesy moves are abilities. Your lives are mine now, and I'm not giving them back. He has Let led me. you to a gay pride parade so he can go beat the piss out of a dragon with a speech impediment and a lisp. Yeah. What is going on with this dragon? I, one of the things I find so funny about the Dragon Quest series is like consistently they do things like slimes always make goo and slime puns. I'm, you know, like goomins or whatever. And But another consistent thing is in this game, reptile characters always have a lisp. Which is so funny. This is so funny. Anytime there's like a serpent or a dragon or like a reptile of some sort, they always speak with a lisp. It's a, it's so dumb. <laughs> but yet it's so good. You'll soon be feeling right as rain. Yeah. There's lots of other little things like that, but it's clever. Oh, flame. Come forth. Fun time's over. 
fun time. Rab, you're almost dead. What's up, dude, my dude? How are we going to heal anybody if we've got, uh... Our dingus is blocked. Hot stuff coming you're the hot stuff. Hmm. Uh. Can't use spells. Um, I can show you after this fight, but I know for a squiddo, I for the hero, I picked mostly. That's not gonna do anything good. I picked uh, mostly the sword abilities. The thing I usually focus on is like uh, crit chance. Crit chance is big in this game. The crits are really good. Uh oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. So I can't bring him back now because I don't have spells. Oh, baby. Snap out of it. Yes, please. I guess it would have been cool to, like, heal people before the fight, but whatever. Okay, so the not using spells is not a permanent effect. Well, that sucks. Why can't I control Sylvando? Yeah, I don't know, just swing, I guess, and hope. One damage. You gotta be kidding me. Also, Rav has like no MP left because I kept on spamming. This super duper move. And I didn't put any uh, Healy Majilis in. Uh... Oh, he's got mid heal. Go, Hendrick. Healy Majilis in anyone's inventory because that's boring. Oh, Ravi. Okay, so... So Vando's not doing nothing for nobody, then. That's handy. Snap to its widow. The only person I really needed to cast spells, eh? I guess this is how it's working, right? Because we can't... People can't cast spells. But his physical defense is through the roof, right? Well, I don't know then. What do we do? We can use abilities still. Right as rain, probably you will be feeling right as rain. To help more than nothing. Come on, then. The Those are tough hits. Okay, his defenses are back to normal. Uh, 
All right, what can I do here? We can sap him. Rab can't cast spells. All right, we'll just have to hit him. Well, that works. Thanks, Sylvando. Oh, Rab. If I can get Rab pepped up, maybe we can make something happen here. See how this does for damage. It's fine. Get up, you dingus. Yeah, Savando. Oh, okay, right. I was thinking of Sizzle. I mean, Savando's probably gonna go down now. I think the thing is to just keep on hitting them with the uh, regular old attacks. <laughs> Sounds a bit like a horse. Yeah, exactly. He's just not even here for it. Grandpa, you're missing the most exciting part. Oh, what? Move? Oh. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't asleep. I was just resting my eyes. Well, yeah, if you weren't asleep, tell me what happened in the movie, Grandpa. I, uh... Be nice to your Grandpa. <laughs> 24. Well, that explains a lot. Hey, we'll take him. Dress my eyes, exactly, yeah. Age old excuse. No one's dressing your eyes. That's just that's just old people talk for asleep. Blunt. I don't know what I can do to turn the tide here. I feel like a lot of these things won't work. I don't know, maybe just hit him. There you go. That worked. Oh, Grandpa. Hey, Rab's awake for once. I don't know, I can try it. Why not? Why not try putting him to sleep? Okay, that's why. Oh, I mean, it's like uh, his health is getting down. So it could work. It could work. This fight seems very slow paced. It's very plotting. I guess that makes sense. So the enemies main abilities seem to be preventing me from doing stuff Here you go, and not so much doing stuff on his own it's like he's delaying the inevitable get back in the fight We will take it. Oh, Grandpa. Those secret Grandpa techniques, like just resting your eyes. How come you never learn how to rest your eyes when you're a kid, but like suddenly when you're like 65, you know how to do it. 
What's with that? How is it even possible? Rab. This is your turn. This is your opportunity to do the big move. So this is just like a race against my mana pool. Just swing, I guess. 12 points. Who be? Alright, well, Rab can still do the thing. I mostly just want Rab's sap to work, right? It's a good hit. 213 points. It's doing a lot of good. Yeah, crits are really good in this game because they completely bypass the defense stat, right? So it doesn't matter, like, what kind of spells or effects are going on with the monster, right? You just get right through and do big damage. Like that. Can I not afford it anymore? Yeah, I can't. I'll afford one of these, though. That'd do it. Beepow! Uh, okay. I don't know, just hit him. Hold on tight now. The one time Sylvander decides not to use a physical attack is the time the dude has lowered defenses. Everyone's asleep. This has been kind of a sleepy fight. It's been pretty slow. A lot of sleep, a lot of fizzle, not a lot of action. Boring movie. Well, I mean, it's how it goes, right? With these like attrition style monsters. Like this is like the Dragon Quest version of uh, having to fight somebody in Pokemon with uh, a Chansey on their team, right? Where you just like slog away at the thing for an hour. You just never seem to run, like get to the bottom of its hit point pool. And it never like, never actually kills anything. It just refuses to die. There you go, there you go. We were getting close. Avarith. We did it, darlings. Avarith. <laughs> I love that. Wow, he's got a lot of money. 79. So Sir Hendrick has 79 skill points because I don't like Sir Hendrick. So I haven't been spending them. Acting of a storm. Yeah, exactly. You just can't do it. what you get for being a nasty, greedy girl. Like you're just your attention to detail just isn't enough to get through the dungeon. You are not hurt. You just gotta push through, baby. It's mom. You're free. But all we had to do was murder this dragon thing. We are fine, thanks to you. His backstory is strange. Avarith only kept us prisoner. She they did not hurt us. They preserved the lisp. <laughs> you saved us. I, I do not know how to thank you. Thank me by just going free. Fair maiden, a smile will more than suffice. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Look at the big pile of gold. Here it is. My mother's necklace. It's gigantic. Oh. But it's broken. Oh no. It's a family heirloom tomato. No. It is broken. I cannot take this back to my father. It will only I take some cookies. Sad. Let's be real. Baking a pie tomorrow. It's going to be fun. I like pie. Oh, of course it won't, you silly boy. <laughs> Didn't your daddy ever tell you it's the, the thug weird that fan comes? he's got? It could be smashed to pieces and you'd still be his little hero. Didn't dad, like, try to sell the kid, though? Hmm. Are we missing the real moral? Take Son and the others back to the village in style. Ugh, he was getting sleepy. Let's admit it. Let's call Space Spade. You take your time, honey. He really should. All kinds of fun. He's so good Ciao at it. Now. He's a fan aficionado. Aficionado. <laughs> Still waving. All right, I'll show you my skill trees because you were curious. This is what I got for Scudo. Pretty much just all swords. All swords all day. I lost my luminary skills because a tree blew up, I think. It didn't say that, but that's what I understood. I haven't spent uh, any of, uh, of Hendrick's skill points, so he's got 79 saved up. That's because I hate him. So We won't be doing that. And then there's Rabbert. He's got the heavy wands, the claws, and the enlightenment. I've been sort of mixing it up. He's got a few skill points hanging out, though, that I haven't spent. What can we give him? More mending? Boom, boom. What's on this side? Foot? Agility? Lots of agility? You just make him really fast? To this side, loss of MP. I'm sure Hendrick is very strong. I just also despise Hendrick. So. It's okay. As soon as I possibly can, I will backbench Hendrick. And all will be right in the world again. Exactly. You know, it's like... There you go. The pep chance is also good. Pep chance and critical hit chance, I think, are are your go-tos. Are your best. Are your best bets. Look at the mountain of treasure. Amazing. A book in the bookcase. It's red, so I know I can read it. Ye Dunderstand. Secrets of Ye Waters. The secrets in the water, I guess. Everyone wave at Squiddo. Yeah, pep chance, critical hit chance. Attack up. The crit is just so powerful, right? The crits end combat fast, right? They just make combat go away. The damage boost is so high, and it cuts through defenses, right? So oftentimes it does huge damage in situations where otherwise you'd be hard pressed to do any at all. Yeah, no, totally. Investing in the the, the skills that up your crit rate though is is something. I mean, like in terms of like where you're gonna put your points, right? It would be either a, a getting an ability with like good utility, or as you say, upgrading your pep chance or upgrading your crit chance. I think are your big ones. But boys and girls of the internet, all my all my online friends, I think now I'm gonna have to call it in for the night. As you can see, I'm yawning, and you know, as as much as I'm having a good time, I've got to put my gotta put my best forward for you. And 
yawning into the mic like a moron. It's, it's not quite that. But luckily, I'll be back streaming tomorrow. It was good to pop on a little more, share some Dragon Quest with y'all. It's a good game. It's a lovely game. So, to, uh, to everybody at home, uh, have a good night. Uh, bon nuit. Buenos noches. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow evening, probably after supper time, because tomorrow afternoon I'm making a pumpkin pie. That's right. How festive is that? See you then.